I don't think there's a bad choice up here. So I think Giolito is a perfectly good play. I think Max Scherzer is fine. Um, if I have to pick one guy that I may be fading, it's probably Shohei Otani. That just may be an ownership thing. Um, but the guy I like the most that I think comes in the lowest owned of this group is Eduardo Rodriguez. Um, I think he's about as good of a pitcher as Otani is, and he's in as good of a matchup going against the Tigers. He just doesn't have the recent performance. He got hurt in a start against the Yankees, and then he had a tough start last time out against the Blue Jays, just two really, really tough matchups. Those may be the two best offenses in baseball right now, uh, or at least the American League with the team that the Dodgers have. But uh, Rodriguez did rack up eight strikeouts in that start, and the strikeout upside is really what I'm interested in. So I think that the upside is there, and I think he probably will just be a little bit less popular than guys like Giolito, Scherzer, and Otani. Gary, what do you think? You feel like there's really no bad options above AK? Yeah, I do think that Otani and Scherzer are probably going to generate most of the interest, and I think that's justifiable, especially considering – I mean, Texas is in a league of its own right now in terms of offensive ineptitude. And Shohei Otani, the big fault he had had even early in his very, very good season as a starting pitcher was walks. And suddenly in his last three starts, he has a 17 to 1 strikeout to walk ratio. So I think Otani's fine at 9,500. But I got to admit, I did like a spit take when going through the pitching pricing list and seeing Max Scherzer this low. It just seems unnatural. And I understand that he's going to be popular even in a matchup with the Houston Astros who aren't just a great offense, but they're also a great offense that doesn't strike out. So that's generally not a great combination for a DFS pitcher, but Max Scherzer at $9,100 is borderline insanity. I mean, this is someone who has been over $10,000 in 12 of his past 13 starts, usually closer to the $11,000 end of the spectrum. This is the cheapest he's been all season, and it's not like he's in bad form either. If you go back to the start of May, he's got a 35% strikeout rate. So I just think you don't get too many opportunities to use a guy like Scherzer at 9K, and I don't think I'll be passing up on that opportunity tonight. Paul, what about you? Where are you going for a pricey guy over AK? Well, I'm going to pick up on that thread and say I fade both Orici and Scherzer in their head-to-head matchup simply because of the quality of both offenses, and that accounts for the depressed price of both of them. You can uh, I make that case. When there's so many good options in this range, I find reasons like that to eliminate a number of the candidates quickly before zeroing in on my pick. Among the highest pit, uh, uh, price starters, I can build a strong case for Tyon for sure, priced at 10200 because he faces the lowly Orioles. He's 6-0 and in his last 10 starts with 43 Ks and only six homers in his last 53 innings. So you go, why not if you want to go big? But I land on a guy like Kevin Gossman tonight for 9700 bucks with his high win probability against the lowly D-backs. He has allowed only 40 hits in his last 55 innings pitch with a 199 uh, batting average and a 113 whip. He enjoys a nice edge going into this matchup based on his head-to-head matchup history against a, uh, Arizona batters as well. They've combined for a 211 batting average and 293 OPP against him. So all the numbers point to uh, a nice win probability for Gossman tonight, and I'm on it. 